a freak and, occurrence. And, yeah, an individual incident, yeah. and that's what it is. Yeah, I I had just recently had a, an issue where a guy had low blood sugar, lost consciousness, ran, hit a vehicle that was stopped at a stoplight, ran through a, a parking lot, hit another vehicle, ran oh, into wow. a building. Wow. Now, most people would say, well, he's clearly liable. However, because it was a medical incident, an unforeseen incident. It's almost like an act of God kind of thing. Yes, exactly. It basically states that, you know, he can't be held liable for a medical condition that, that uh, you know, resonated. So, so if you're driving your car and you have a heart attack and get in an accident, you're not technically at fault? Even even no. even okay. with, even with that, uh, somebody? Here's, here's the caveat to that, though. If you've had two heart attacks while driving your vehicle, then the second okay. one you are so liable So if, if there's pre-existing conditions there, okay. We were, we were wondering in this situation if, uh, if you know, if... if she if had grounds was, for a lawsuit. If she had grounds for a lawsuit because it was, if it was definitive that she caught, contracted this flesh-eating bacteria from the soil, from or the the mud that she was in, if it was, if it was, if she could hold the the promotion company or the organization company or the property holder or organization, if you're organization. Yeah. Well, well, you got to look at it in a couple different ways. She's probably signed a liability release releasing the promoter and uh, of the the mud race. Probably all, named on that release is the property owner and two that's a like i said that's that's something that they can't foresee okay now uh so. chris uh i so you're in bloomington indiana i'm assuming mm-hmm. you flew there correct i did okay so when you were going through the airport did was there concern from tsa that your forehead is in fact a weapon that you were trying to carry onto the airplane a concealed weapon, huh? <laughs> it's no, not that's concealed. not concealed at all. Man. <laughs> well, it's not concealed because it is quite prominent. But did they, in fact, did TSA, in fact, deem that a weapon? <laughs> they should after last weekend. If they just saw that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> man, I, I, did, did you have a headache the next day or anything? I don't know if I had a headache from that or from the drinking. But it was I a had drinking. a slight one. Well, whatever. <laughs> it happens. It happens. So wh- I'm definitely doing it again this weekend. By the way, so what you better get video you, of that. Uh, what brings you to uh, Bloomington, Indiana? Is this for the uh, world's strongest forehead competition, or are you there for another reason? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I was here for a wedding, but maybe we could turn it into a. A beer can forehead opening competition. Wait, how about, how about how about a forehead beer can opening? I'd rather you didn't yeah, open you your go. forehead in that situation, sir. Uh, I'm just guarding you liability wise. I'm, I'm thinking you should change your name to Christmas Von Nelson Son. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Now that hey, we're talking Chris about Chris Von and Schwarzenegger about, uh, suing Cheese for allowing me to do that on his property. Oh, we do have video evidence of that. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know if the I don't know if Lord Cheese is listening. If he is, he might need to be uh, a little concerned. He really messed up with you as a friend, especially since he uh, just laid out all that money on his new car. Well, I'm hoping to get the car in the lawsuit. Oh, okay. So you have good motive then. Yeah, but you, 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 you're not still going to be able to drive it for another what, 15 days? <laughs> <laughs> Six weeks. I, I'm thinking what you should do, Chris. Six is you weeks? should you Jesus should ask God. him to stage a mud run in his backyard. And we'll so all that take craps in the backyard and then get the car. <laughs> and we all own a stake in it. We'll just store it in a neutral pl- place. Uh, I like. I, li- <laughs> I don't know if Allie's going to agree with you letting uh, taking her garage space. Well, she might for an Aston Martin. Yeah, I'll build another building. What do you want? You know what? I'll just tell her. She'll listen to me. Yeah, anything you say, she does. I know. That is correct, know. as the computer will say. I know. Yeah, uh, I didn't realize I that was your wife. I just thought that it was your mom that always listened to Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so, so Nelly, I got a question for you. Since since your wife always listened to me, are you are you in the mood for a beach tonight? Uh, maybe I can uh, convince her. <laughs> Am I... <laughs> is she is she there, Chris? Uh, Mister Mister, we are talking to the great Chris Nelly with an um, amazing, unbelievable retard strength. Is your wife there th- right now? She's downstairs talking to her mom. Can we get her upstairs and her mom? 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm concerned. I really wonder with with in light of the revelation that Chris's biology is in fact stronger than any normal human being. Does Allie have to structurally reinforce her cheeks if she does in fact give Chris a beat? Uh, another qu- another quick question. We're going double succession. Will she, puts, you? she puts the X-ray things in her mouth. Hey, can, can, hey, is it possible that you could blow a load like a shotgun right through her back? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, hold on. I'm I'm gonna laugh at this one, and 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 Chris knows why I'm gonna laugh at this one. And uh, this is a mall rats reference. Mall rats no, too no, is no, coming no, out no. soon. You made a mall rats reference, but you actually sparked up a reference from uh, from uh, previous uh, times and the the first apartment Chris and I shared together. Uh, he had a certain individual over who uh, he probably could have blown the back of her head. Okay, out. don't bring your wife up right now. Just let's Ooh. say that. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, a... <laughs> Caleb, I thought you were setting that one up, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Could you bring your wife upstairs right now, though? Really, seriously. We need to talk to her about a few things. So go ahead and yell, if you don't mind. We'd like to hear it on the radio. I don't, I'm, I'm not so sure Allie wants to be involved in oh, this. Oh, she might. We've we got to talk to her about it. As, as, as friends of Allie, she probably doesn't want to be... Uh, uh, Corralled yeah. into this. It's worth a try. It's <laughs> worth a try, Nelly. Nelly, it is worth a try. All right. Anyways, Nelly, we are talking to the great Chris Nelly well, with amazing retard strength. She's right here. She she she's refusing to get on the phone. Oh, yes. tell her to get off the phone. Allie, 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 Allie. Tell her we're not on live. No tell her we're not live. Just let's talk tell, to her. Tell Allie she is quite wise, and I respect <laughs> that wisdom. <laughs> hey, tell her to get on the phone and tell us. How about we just get Curdy on the phone too at the same time? No, she's time. out of town right now. No, I, I will. I'm going to close this interview with this because we do have to get going. When, when you tell Allie that you're ready to get down, does she wear a hard hat when she walks into the bedroom? Because <laughs> you are a wrecking ball, my friend. <laughs> hey, Nelly came out as a wrecking ball, <laughs> blow a load like a shotgun right through her head. She has a miner's hat. A miner's hat. Wow. You mean a spelunker's helmet? (laughs) He is the great Chris Nelson calling us live from Bloomington, Indiana. You guys, hey, have fun. Give our best to Allie. We love you guys. uh, Tell Papa and Mama Shine. I said, hey. Look forward to seeing you soon. I'll I'll see you this weekend or next weekend. All right, guys. We'll talk to you. Guys. See you. All right. On that note, it is time to wrap it up here on the show. Uh, before we do so, though, Miggy, I know you got something to plug. And yeah, it's, this and it's is not a man's butthole. No, this is not a man's <laughs> butthole. This is uh, uh, as as you we we all know everybody out there. We're uh, we're big fans of uh, Frankie Reyes and uh, his and Tony's and a couple other secret guys uh, that that are in the Pro Wrestling Academy in Brandon, Florida, three thirty three Falkenberg Road. Sweet A one twenty nine. It is a pro. Sweet A. It is a. It doesn't sound as good. Oh, let me see. Let me see how good it sounds like. Sweet. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sweet D. Sweet A. No. Sweet D. Yeah. Doesn't do it. Doesn't do it. So Frankie Reyes is hosting a three day fantasy camp, uh, Friday, uh, Friday through Sunday, July twenty fourth through twenty sixth. Uh, and now what, what's going to happen? It's Friday. Uh, it's going to be uh, on the Friday, the 24th, 6 to 9 p.m. Saturday, uh, the 25th, 11 to 2 p.m. And Sunday, the 26th, 12 to 3 p.m. It's going to be at the uh, Florida Pro Wrestling Academy training facility. And anyone who's 16 and older, and you can take part in this camp for only $25. And if, you, if, they, if they see enough promise in you, you could win a selected uh, discounted tuition and maybe even free tuition. Uh, space is limited, so reserve your spot now. Call 813-731-9755 for more information. By the way, I just want to congratulate the Boston Bruins, who I despise with all of my soul. <laughs> and with the 13th, 14th, and 15th pick, the much unprecedented time where a team for the first time since 1970 has had three first-round picks in a row have apparently selected three different guys that the scouts have rated Crappy. at the highest C plus and at the lowest a D. So C and plus, three picks C in minus, a row. and a D. Really? So, great yeah. job, General Manager Don Sweeney. I hope this doesn't bite me in the ass two years from now, but apparently, <laughs> apparently your picks suck. Now, let's go ahead and end the show the way we do every single week. 
And that is with what did Sancho Sanchez learn? No, do not say a word about it. I told you a second ago. Don't I, say it. No, hold yeah, on, hold I, on. I, stop, stop. No. I don't think Why? he le- No. I don't th- I don't he, I don't think he participated much. He was he was hanging out in the cigar room looking at cigars all night. He's pretty. It's very nice. It needs to be drier. Or, or it needs wetter. To be dry. wetter. Drier or wetter? Wetter? Well, it always it, it, it can always be wetter. What Sancho. did you What did you learn, Sancho? I didn't learn anything about that certain movie I really like. No. Okay. Um, I learned that the the black lady who's not really black is white ish. <laughs> she's kind of whitish. Yeah. But she's trying. She works hard for her money. How does she even work? Forget it. Just, uh, just go on. Yeah. I learned that uh, people can contract AIDS from the mud. Not, not AIDS, Sancho. It's a, it's a flesh-eating bacteria. Necrosis. Yes, that's what it is. Necrosis. <laughs> not well, AIDS. What? <laughs> I, mean, you can also I mean, get I mean, that flesh a, bacteria is bad. You can also get that from a spider bite, Sancho. Spider bite, yes. Uh, it causes uh, necrosis of the flesh, and it usually gets rid of the epidural, and it goes into your blood. Sancho, uh, Sancho, And then I learned Sancho. that hockey and the Boston Bruins are stupid. Yes, we uh, will all agree with you. <laughs> yeah. Actually. I'm like a little kid. I can be swaying in different directions. On that note, guys, it's time <laughs> to... Jerry just has it. It's time to wrap up the show. All you craniacs, thank you for oh. tuning in. No. Big, big thank you to the Japanese audience who has been the yeah. largest by, by capita of the country that has listened to us the most over the last two weeks. And guys, I, listen live, hope, call in. And I hope they know a little English because or a freaking gato, man. Yeah, definitely. So... All you Cranax, next week we will be coming to you live from ESP Brewing. We'll be minus the C squared. Sorry, and we will be 30 minutes late next week due to SNR, a uh, great band. Uh, uh, the head brewer, Bob, and his partner, Sebi, nah. will be playing some music ahead of time. So maybe we can even live broadcast that. I don't even so know. So while we're broadcasting, I hope you feel bad that you're not there, mm. Caleb, while yeah. you're on your posh celebrity cruise. Dude, I you, won't feel bad where, at all. Where are you going again? We are uh, Bermuda. Jamaica, ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahama. So On that note, <laughs> <laughs> all you craniacs, question everything, consider anything. We'll <sighs> talk to you next week. Good night. We thank you for listening to the Cranial Mission Show. Make sure you visit our Facebook page, the Cranial Missions Network, our Twitter page, at Cranial E. And tune in every Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Spreaker.com.